Hi everyone, I have a crafty keepsake to share with you. I just completed a mini album using um, this Recollections collection. And it's called Vintage Country and it has a lot of burlap um, tones to it. It's, it's a lot of burlap style paper. Um, I don't know if we can bring this up closer so you can actually see I'm getting a glare from the light there. Um, so it has some pretty neat papers and they have some cutouts. Here's some cutouts here that you can fussy cut and use and then there's some borders or you just use it as regular paper. So it has some really cute pages to it and that's a, some ba the banners that you could use. And then they have burlap, like it's like real burlap paper. It's really cute. This is also burlap with some stenciled flowers on it and then there's a chevron and then there's some other ones in the album that you'll see that um, I don't have any leftovers of and so let me get the album out for you real quick this album was um, made with one of Kathy Orda's tutorials and I will post her link to the tutorial um, in the description box um, so, but here we have, I used the burlap paper and I am um, made a little pocket out of one of the tags that you can cut out of the collection. I added some lace along the sides of the opening and made a burlap flower. And then I just hand stitched some of these beads here. Um, I topped it with a filigree metal flower and uh, some wild orca crafts flowers scattered throughout. I added some blink up here at the top. These I used a template and then I just added the bling individually. So each one of these were individually done. Took me some time, but um, it worked. So, oh, and on the back side is I used the black flower, the temp stencil flowers on the back, and this is that burlap as well. Okay, and it is constructed out of chipboard and paper. open it up and it opens up like this and I'm going to start from the left and then move to the right so on this side there's a little flap and I just have some photo mats um, it opens up and I just have another photo mat here and it just says fun times and then this page here has um, a pocket and there's a little small pocket here I think in the tutorial it was supposed to be cut all the way through but I didn't do that so I messed that part up and so it's just a little tiny pocket and then in the top pocket, sorry about that, um, I have this little book here and I left this plain so that she could make a title for this little booklet here. And when you open it up, we have some photo mats here on this side. Oh, I'm sorry, not photo mats. Um, it's a little journaling book, so it just has some papers here and she can do some journaling. And I just um, use some twine to hold it together and then punched out a flower and put at the end of the end of the twine. And then on this side um, I have a waterfall and it's held down by magnet and the only page that I matted was this top one to hold the magnet. The rest of them I didn't mat because I figured once the pictures are on there don't need it. So and this is Your Magical, another cutout from the collection. And the back is simple. Um, let's go to this side and so on this side is another flap with this is a photo photo mat a little banner cut out from the collection I have some more photo mats here and another cut out from the collection and here's just a small picture for the small pocket here and it just fits well right there and this side I have another waterfall booklet um, this time the waterfall is in the front and I've tied it with some seam binding and it just has some of their pictures here. Okay. High school sweethearts. <laughs> and it opens up like that and has just, I used some of the banners from the, the collection and I cut them out. Used my zig to trace it in the black on the edges and then just stuck a photo there. Okay. 
in the center, um, we have these flaps here. In the tutorial, they were originally supposed to be three. And, well, I was a little too rough, and I ripped one out, so I had to rip the other one out, and, you know, now we just have um, two on each side versus three. But they are pockets, and they have um, pullouts here, and they open up this way. And then um, there's a big space here for some photos, and then it flips up, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in frame, but just a big space there for um, a large photo and then in here there's some more pockets um, with some photos photo mats and I added their little bridal shower invitation to it as well and there's a lot of space in here where they can add their own pictures back here is just a pocket where she can hold some cards and whatnot to it okay so that's that and then I had a lot of pictures left over still and I came up with this and I may have watched a tutorial on this somewhere I don't know um, it might have even been, been part of Kathy Order's tutorial I, I can't remember but I just kind of went and did my own thing with it and it just didn't fit inside the book so now it's just like a little bonus to the book so I have some ribbon here that I just used to keep it closed I have uh, recollections flower and some prima bling and when you open it up it's just like um it's what's holding the whole mechanism in here so you have a pocket here a pocket page here with some photo mats and then it opens up this way and you have a side pocket and then I left this for journaling and then it opens up this way and you have a photo mat another pocket page and then you open up this way and you have another pocket page side pocket page and some space for journaling and then this one flips over this way and I have um, some waterfall photos here. I put some lace down um, across the seam and then this one's the same way. Okay. And then just another um, photo mat there. And so that just holds the rest of the pictures that I have of them. And again this just wraps around and ties. So that is my crafty keepsake for <laughs> probably the month because it's taken me forever to get those done. So um, I will be back soon with another project to share with you. Thank you for watching. Bye.